So Donald Trump, known for causing a ruckus whenever he can and trying right. to get as much attention as he can, has done it once again this week after the BuzzFeed reporter McKay Coppins did a really fun profile of him spending 36 hours with him traveling down to Florida, and now Trump is not so happy with it. Right. I, I have to say it grossly depresses me that this is the major media story of the week. Uh, I think he believed that he would get a favorable profile, and I think it was really crushing for him to not see that happen. His aide, who is now his former aide, convinced him that this would be a favorable profile, and of course when it wasn't, he decided to then go and fire that reporter. At, at, at some point, the media is going to have to get to a place where it is willing to forego the clicks that Donald Trump generates, to forego the sort of circus-like atmosphere that's so tempting, and just not cover him, because he's not a political player. I mean, I think McKay's profile uh, for BuzzFeed stated it very well. He is not going to run for president in 2016. So conservative radio hosts Michael Savage and Sean Hannity have long had this, this feud between each other, right. this competition. And it seems as recently Michael Savage has had some good ratings, but there's a bigger story to that. By certain metrics, uh, Savage is certainly making some gains on Hannity. It is giving Savage the platform to go after Hannity, to attack Hannity, uh, and Hannity sort of can't really keep his cool, right? He can't resist the temptation to dismiss Savage, most recently saying that he was a phony conservative, things like that. The more Hannity gives into that, the more he feeds right. that beast for Savage. <laughs> 